Hi, I'm Tomer Tan from Dell Technologies. In this demonstration video, I'm going to walk you through the configuration of Dell PowerStore CSI driver for NFS and the deployment of a Kubernetes application that can leverage these file capabilities for Kubernetes read write many persistent volumes. For the purpose of this demo, I deployed a six node OpenShift cluster running version 4.10 with three masters and three worker nodes. By navigating to the pods sections, you can see that the PowerStore CSI driver is installed on the cluster with two controllers configured for high availability and a node pod running on each Kubernetes worker node. In order to leverage the PowerStore file capabilities, we need to create a NAS server first. We navigate to the NAS servers page on PowerStore Manager and click on the Create button. Here, we specify the NAS server details, such as the name and network settings, and then we select the file protocols we want to enable and continue with the wizard. As you can see, I created a NAS server in advance called NAS-Server. In order to start creating NFS volumes dynamically using the Dell CSI driver, all we need to do is to create a new storage class for file. The provisioner is set to our PowerStore CSI driver. Under the file system type, we specify NFS, and then we specify the PowerStore array ID and the NAS server we just created. Now we're ready to deploy the application. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to deploy a three pod front end web app, which will be connected to a single persistent volume. In addition, we have a service to load balance the traffic between all the available pods in the deployment. The application requires simultaneous read-write access to the persistent volume from all the pods. This unique capability is available for PowerStore NFS CSI volumes. By navigating to OpenShift UI, we can see that a 50 gig volume has been created. By clicking on its details, we can see that the access mode is set to read write many and its storage class is set to PowerStore NFS. By navigating to PowerStore Manager, we can see that the size has been updated as well. If we go to the file systems tab, we can see our file system has been created by the CSI driver and representing a read write many Kubernetes persistent volume. Under the NFS Exports tab, we can see that the CSI driver automatically added read-write permission to all the worker nodes as each application pod is running on a different node, while all pods need read-write access at the same time. If we go to our deployment, we can see that we have three pods running on different nodes and sharing the same persistent volume. Now, let's connect to our application. We can do that by connecting to the Kubernetes load balance service directly from the browser. Every time I refresh the page, the visit count number written to the persistent volume increases and is pulled from a different pod. This clearly illustrates the need of cloud native application these days for read write many volume capabilities. Now, Let's say that we're expecting an increase in the number of visits to the site, and we need to scale up the number of pods. With Kubernetes and the PowerStore CSI driver, it is as simple as a click of a button, or a single kubectl command depends on what type of person you are. If you go back to our website, we can see that we're being redirected to the new pods that were added to the deployment as well as the existing pods both connected to the same read write many persistent volume. Now, let's say that our persistent volume is running out of space and we need to increase its size without impacting the web application itself. Again, all you have to do is go to the persistent volume claim object and edit its size. Let's say we want to double it from 50 gig to 100 gig. Then we just click save and the change is reflected in Kubernetes as well as the share itself on PowerStore, with zero impact on the application itself. 
I really hope you find this demo useful and thank you very much for watching.